Good afternoon, Aries. Hope you guys are doing well today. So, I'm going to be doing a reading regarding you dealing with the Gem Gemini. <clears throat> and how my readings are set up, it's like, I don't specifically aim toward energy um, toward people per se. Especially, like, people that you are with or, like, somebody you're in a relationship with. It could be now. This could be somebody you're leaving, somebody you're running into. This could also be, like, a parent, a friend, an enemy. Take it how it resonates. Spirit could also be... Um, leaning you toward understanding, like I'm hearing something about your natal chart and more um, and more of your placements. You may need to use either um, Aries energy or Gemini energy to balance something out in your life. So, like I was saying, take a high resonate. Now, when I was um, meditating on y'all energy, I got a lot of um, pretty good energy. So I feel like something's going pretty well in your life right now or it's like you're headed down the right direction i feel like there was some sort of decision that you had regarding i don't know i'm hearing something about protection this could be like sexual protection or because i'm getting like i'm seeing like a condom but <clears throat> some sort of decision that you made it was for your betterment in the end out um it end up paying off for you so uh, the channel messages i have is um higher placements so i feel like somebody is gonna put you in high regards or it's like you took your power back from a situation and you put yourself in high regards higher placements i'm also getting something about your natal chart and your placements i feel like you have some sort of you you might have an air trine or i'm hearing water trine as well you need to check your natal chart. I, I'm i seeing like heightened abilities. So your abilities, your gifts are about to be heightened. If they already haven't been heightened, you could be noticing things about yourself that, that usually don't occur. It almost seems like a coincidence. Just know everything happened for a reason. Nothing happened on accident. That's like the second time I don't try to clean something that's not there. So somebody here may have OCD or it's very clean. I'm also hearing clean D. Okay. So I was getting to um, energy surrounding healing and issues of jealousy. Now, this could be you <clears throat> or this could be um, people in your life. You could be helping people heal issues around jealousy. This may be something that you noticed about yourself as you went into reflection mode. And it's like, okay, so now I see why this was holding me back. I was also getting something about a higher consciousness. I'm getting like moon energy. That's Pisces energy. Um, You could be walking away from a Pisces or something about a Pisces. I'm hearing somebody's parent is a Pisces. I'm getting karmic Pisces as well yeah and then i was getting like i'm getting something about you having to take control or be the adult in the situation take that how i resonate if the story ain't yours don't make it don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel called to and comment tell me what y'all think what y'all you know what i'm saying if it resonated and then i got higher awakening so i definitely feel like you're going through some sort of initiation like I really feel like you're getting initiated into something. You could be experiencing a lot of crown chakra activity. Like, just, like, being very self-aware. You could be somebody that's uh, always um, vigilant of your surroundings. Like, you always looking around to make sure everything's smooth, nothing creepy ain't going on, or this is something that you need to pay attention to. I was also getting something about um, affirmations. Um... And then I had, I got global intelligence. So you could be somebody that's very smart. You could be on center stage or something or spirit is calling you to a higher. Yeah, earlier I was talking about initiation, a higher calling. I'm also again something about the moon. Somebody here stares at the moon or they love the moon or something about a full moon. I'm also hearing something about a portal open on the full moon. And it, and it was almost like it was just for you. It was a, like I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Someone here is in tech or is interested in tech. Works in tech, tech companies, or this is something that you're supposed to be doing. Okay, and then I have here love has been put off. So I feel like you've been focusing on your finances, focusing on healing, focusing on ascending. You could be in your masculine energy. 
um a lot so there needs to be a balance especially if you're a woman there needs to be a balance i'm also getting something about ready you're ready for something you could be opening yourself up to love thinking about it you know what i'm saying or I'm hearing too, ready to move on from something. Take that how it resonates. February 3rd may be very significant. Go back in your camera roll or to your phone notes or like even like an internet search or even an email. I'm hearing. Um, but I originally wrote this down because it was like there's two. I At first I heard two sides of a story. Okay. But then I heard actually there's three. There's your side, their side, and the actual truth, right? That doesn't mean you're lying. That doesn't mean another person is lying. But at the end of the day, when you go through something with somebody, there it's like what they experience from the situation and how they feel may not, may or may not match, you know, what you feel and how, how you view the situation. So I just feel like I'm hearing like something about the minds, merging of the minds learning how to agree to disagree then i heard something about not yet so you could be pulling put putting something off holding back something this may have to do with a cancer or somebody here has cancer i'm sorry to hear that this could be somebody you're taking care of or you could just know someone who's taking care of somebody with cancer i'm also hearing something about chemo this could be someone's nickname as well chemo i'm also hearing Kyrie. I was getting something about Sage the Gemini. Um, this 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 um Sage the Gemini, I believe that's a um uh someone who does music. Okay, I was hearing something about Aries and Mars energy. See what um your Mars placement is. It may be Aries. Okay. It says here, go to the local shop don't downplay it so there's something you've been looking for that's like right under your nose and you may be second guessing whether you want to buy this thing this could also be like a thought i just heard dependency so take that how it resonate i also got queen king match the pentacle family so i do feel like you're going into a high vibrational relationship where it's like you guys are gonna be able to leave y'all kids money i feel like you somebody who thinks about generational wealth and trying to heal generational curses because this whole the whole time i was channeling for y'all and writing those channeling messages down i just was getting a lot of crown shocker energy air energy a lot of logic putting like kind of putting your your um heart in the cup like the queen of swords and just focusing on what matter what makes sense what's honest so we got when was the last time i danced freely so your spirit guys and your ancestors could be asking you to dance something about dancing you could have been a dancer um getting like um i don't know why i just heard politician and then i just heard be afraid i don't know mm -mm. I don't know where that came from. This just came out of nowhere. But um, something could just come out of nowhere for you <clears throat> that may not make sense. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of third third eye. Yeah, you, you could be operating out of your third eye. Like I'm hearing pulsing like a heartbeat. You could also be getting like a lot of headaches because you're being upgraded. You're being initiated to something when it comes to the spiritual realm. Yeah, this could speak to a grandmother energy, the queen of wands. Your grandmother may have been a Leo or a fire sign. But yeah, this is the third eye symbol. I'm just hearing upgrades. Um, also, like with this moon, the moon talks about your um your feelings and your instincts. I almost said action and energy. That's actually Mars energy. And I just told you to check your Mars from your natal chart. All you got to do is go on Google, put in your birthday, if you know the exact time you were born, and then it's going to give you a general overview of your natal chart. And my throat is itching now, I, I, like out of nowhere. It's like silence. Somebody was trying to silence you. Take this heart resonate. It may not be for everybody, but something about your sexy. The Queen of Wands is 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 a. She, this person has a good business sense. This could even be somebody in your life, but this speaks to vibrancy, confidence, being able to foresee things. This is a very attractive, magnetic, mature type of energy. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm getting when it comes to like you just vibrating on a on another level i'm hearing i keep hearing gemini i just keep hearing gemini 
this may be somebody you've walked away from or somebody you walk into. I feel like I'm speaking to someone, take a high resonate, who could be very loyal, very generous. The Queen of Wands is a confident person. Like, when she walk in the room, it's like she get respect. Like, her energy is very powerful. I definitely feel like there is a grandmother, a grandmother energy that's in your life. I'm hearing them say dance or something about y'all used to dance. You could be working hard at something. Okay, I got the Queen of Swords here. And I told y'all earlier I was um, thinking about that energy. Wow. Then you got the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, but I'm not going to forget about these cards right here. So it says, how can I surrender even more in this moment? I feel like spirit is asking you to release something. Um, getting this could be some sort of resentment. I don't know why I'm here of a grandparent or a parent. Spirit is asking you to use your higher chakras in this situation because again, you pulled a card that has the third eye symbol on it. So it's like, there's something you need to release. You need to think of it from a more logical standpoint instead of a emotional standpoint, okay? Because the Queen of Swords, she when she get mad, she's kind of bitter. She she gossips, you know what I'm saying? But on a good day, this person is very smart, very insightful, very fair. Like she play she, it's like this is the type of person you go to and if you explain the situation to her she's going to be very fair like a judge i'm getting like libra energy something needs to be balanced out calm down a little bit of that fire you got over here with this leo energy because there's something you know you found out and it's like you're holding it in your heart and it needs to be released so that way you can grow of some sort i feel like spirit is telling you to look at the situation from a um a gratitude standpoint because not everything you go through is meant to heart in your heart not to the point where you're bitter towards other people or you're bitter even towards yourself or blaming yourself for something right there's a need for you to just be thankful for the lesson that you're supposed it's like first of all realize that everything that you go through is a part of growth and it's a part of you learning something okay you don't hold resentment. You hold on to the good things that you got out of the situation and you just move on from it. You surrender it. You see what I'm saying? And then it says, where can I create more space? So I'm hearing like clearing the energy. This could be something that you've been working on. You're trying to manifest stability right now. You could even be trying to manifest a masculine. I just heard that. Or if if you're a masculine, you could definitely be trying to manifest a feminine. And like I said earlier, somebody here is in some really big masculine energy. They're worried about their stability. You could be somebody that just had to get it out of the mud. But this says here, somebody here wants to confess something to you. Or like I said, Spirit is asking you to confess. Like, just let it go. Like, let go of that energy. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here is into science. I'm hearing like science and technology. I'm getting like the full card. There's something that you've been working towards that you probably took away. But I feel like if you focus on this, it'll bring in you some good money. I'm hearing very lucrative business. Something about the devil card. So contracts. Watching what you're repeating yourself. I got honesty, blame, and death. Death card always give me Scorpio energy, but it's red. So that's root chakra stability. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Yeah, there's something you need to let go. Could be someone. Could be a way of thinking. Something that you need to release. I just keep hearing release, release. My child, release. Yeah, some sort of conflict. This could be regarding like a father and an inheritance from a father. Somebody you're taking something away. Both of these speak to root chakra activity here. Yeah, some sort of deed or trust fund. Something that got to do with the family, okay? A father figure, the father's side. This may be like... Yeah, you got the food card, the card I was talking about earlier. Somebody here is 40 years old or something about 40,000 or there's some sort of conflict surrounding an inheritance or something that was old to you. 
I feel like somebody is about to confess something to you regarding this. It's like they had a change of heart about something. Yeah, something is about to be given to you with this Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Emperor card. And I feel like it's coming from your father's side of the family. And I do feel like, too, your mother may have had something to do with it. Or take a hot risk and they'll be like a grandfather, a father figure. But there's something you need to take a, a risk on. Or somebody here may have had, like, very foolish thoughts out of greed or something like that. I don't know. But I got the Wheel of Fortune with the um, Three of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like, yeah, like I said, there's something you either released or you need to release. This talks about releasing pain, overcoming depression, depression and being optimist, optimistic, forgiving. I was getting that forgiving energy here. But the Wheel of Fortune talks about something ending. New cycles, the wheel is turning. I'm hearing it's turning in your favor. I'm hearing something about good luck. I feel like a lot of things are going to be stripped from you. A lot of people, places, things, thoughts. I just see you vibrating very high and manifesting a lot of wealth here with this emperor and this ten of pentacles. Or like I said, something. I'm also hearing something about a court date. Take it how it resonates. May not be for everybody. But I feel like you have good luck at this time. You could definitely be... Um, calling in a soulmate. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of like a father figure here with two women. Or it's like he has two families. I'm also hearing like a, something about a, a a secret family. This This could be someone who works in the government or work for the government. I'm also hearing something about money laundering. Yeah, you got the king, the king of pentacles here. I do see that um whoever this person is, or this is a whole nother story. Like I'm getting the energy of someone who wants to put you up. Like I feel like when it comes to your love life, this could even be an Aries. Okay. Or you or you or you're leaving the gym and I walking into something with the Aries or you're using your Aries energy. This also talks about Mars. I think Aries rule rule Mars. The tower card is Mars energy, destruction, revelations, realizing something. This is also speak to a divorce or family confusion. Now I got the Queen of Pentacles out here. With the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, somebody want to put you up. They see that you guys can build something together. This person may already have more money than you. I feel like they may be about to speak to you about something. Because this talks about being indecisive. Or it's like somebody's holding something off. I'm hearing holding it off on purpose. No matter what, you're going to end up the one with the abundance because of... I'm hearing you have a high rank in the spiritual realm. I'm also hearing like guardian angel. Somebody here wants to control everything. They're emotion. They're they're like emotionally unstable. This is the type of person to give you bad advice or um getting to somebody may have gi given you some bad advice and it delayed you. It could have delayed your money. Yeah, put you in a state of anxiety. Had you all up in your head, fearing the worst. Like I'm getting that. I also feel like something like I'm hearing catastrophic, almost like a comet coming out of space and hitting Earth. It's like you, you, it's like something was taken away from you and you thought it was the end of everything. You know what I'm saying? But Spirit was asking you to be honest with yourself. Is this something you really wanted? I feel like something was broken down to be rebuilt on better grounds. There's something you had to do alone, some sort of ascension. Using your intuition, being patient with yourself, getting in a routine, yeah. Then you got independent wealth here. And that's another ten of pentacles. This may be have some something that came in very slow. So in the beginning when I when I was um channeling the energy of the pentacle family, I don't see the page and the king yet, but the emperor is out here, the ten of pentacles is out here, the nine of pentacles is out here, the knight is out here. 
I'm also hearing something about Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like someone is going to come in and offer you something. This could be like a past life lover. I'm also getting to like trials and tribulations. Whoever this person is, you guys are going to feel at home instantly. I feel like there's going to be something very innocent and youthful about this relationship. You guys could both um, end up getting pregnant. Well, obviously not both, but the babies may be like a water sign or earth sign. I'm also getting air energy, but I see a lot of growth here. Yeah, you got the world card, the completion of a cycle with the ace of swords. So this is the truth. Yeah, this they go that air sign again. I feel like you guys are going to um, manifest a lot together. Like something about you guys is sex. You're going to be able to manifest with each other. Something about you being naked. Or the naked truth. Or it's like you guys are going to be. Like I'm getting the energy of purity, innocence. It's not necessarily physically naked. But it's like this person going to be able to see the depths of your soul. It's going to be vice versa for both of y'all. Yeah, with the sun card. Something's coming in very fast, or like I said, you're walking on. You you may have had to walk away from someone who only cared about your body and be, you being seen. But the world card talks about achievement and success, accomplishment, traveling. The sun card is about positivity, freedom, optimism. It's reminding me of this queen of wands energy, what you started out with. But I feel like right now you're just being patient with yourself, or you're being called to budgeting you know what i'm saying this also talks about traveling so you may travel to a foreign land or something about foreigners being foreign i'm in the usa so anything outside of usa is foreign to me shit some even the states that's in the usa is foreign to me i ain't been through all of them but there was a choice you had to make and it sparked some sort of inspiration and it led you down the right path overall this is beautiful whoever you are you have a very Whoever you are, whoever you are, something about your heart, your heart chakra, open it up, the key to your heart, okay? But whoever you are, you have a very keen intuition. I feel like your energy is very loving and comforting, very kind. It's like you always have a good idea. You're going to be someone's balance. Because this, I didn't even know the page of cups was root chakra energy. This could also be like a water sign, Okay. But I feel like you're going to be willing to listen. And this is what the re relationships need. Because everybody want to be heard. Everybody want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Anyways, I love y'all. If this video helped you at all, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you love me. Any information as far as booking will be in the description box. And this is beautiful. I like this. Anyways, I love y'all. Mm, I just saw 22 and 55, so big change and a lot of balance. See y'all later. Peace.